this is my impression of Marley Matlin, the most famous, if not only deaf actress to have ever lived, <laughs> doing an impression of Robert De Niro in Taxi Driver. <laughs> Are you talking to me? <laughs> Are you talking to me? Because I can't hear you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you get it. <laughs> Do you get it? Do you want more of it? <laughs> this is my repression. <laughs> of me after my dad molested me. <clears throat> what? <laughs> nothing happened. I promise nothing happened. I promise nothing happened. <laughs> um, this is my impression of Tom Petty um, as a door guy bouncing somebody out of the bar that he works at. Don't come around here no more. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite Will Smith song? <laughs> My favorite Will Smith song is that one that goes like, Summer, 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 summer. Summer, 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 I've only ever heard it at the nightclub. Never. I want to open up a breakfast restaurant. It only serves egg white omelets and plays John Lennon songs. I'm gonna call it Yolk. Oh, oh no. <laughs> that was a pun. Puns are some of my favorite things in the world. They make me happy, if you couldn't tell how happy I am right now. <laughs> it's okay if you can't tell. Sounds like a gun or something. <laughs> um, I already did that, but... It helps focus. It helps focus things. What's worse? Spilling the beans or letting the cat out of the bag. <laughs> A lot of people think they're the same thing, but they're not. If you spill the beans, you have to clean something up. There's a mess. That's not good for anybody. But letting the cat out of the bag, that's a good thing. <laughs> if you don't let the cat out of the bag, it might die. <laughs> you don't want that cat to die. <clears throat> What's worse? A black guy in a wheelchair that doesn't really need to be in the wheelchair. I'm not saying I've seen it. <laughs> or a white guy in a wheelchair that really needs to be in the wheelchair 
in blackface, so it's worse. <laughs> It's hard to tell who's the bigger asshole or who's the bigger poser. I don't know the answer. I only know the questions. I'm here to Confucius. What's worse? A white guy doing jokes about black people or an able-bodied person doing jokes about somebody with, not they're not able-bodied, but I just didn't know what else to say. <laughs> doing jokes about people with Down syndrome. You know? Because this is like a conundrum that I have as a comedian. I have all these thoughts that go through my brain that I have to filter and hopefully forge into jokes that people will laugh at. But sometimes the thoughts that I have and the ideas that go through my brain are definitely not ready for the public, you know? It's sort of like the bile of life that nobody wants to deal with, but only have to deal with. We're forced to deal with the bile when all the food that we just consumed and vomited out is gone. We still have the bile that we need to deal with, right? That's where I come in. <laughs> so like, what's worse? Make those noises that you heard or this new noise that you're hearing. <laughs> they all have qualities. The new noise isn't as frequent as the other noises, but it still sort of reminds us of how not good it is. <laughs> you know? There's a despair to all of it. <laughs> but we all know that there can only be so much despair before, you know, the flowers have to grow. Eventually the fire will die out. Things will grow again. We know things will be okay. I mean, you guys are all relatively feel okay right now. Maybe you're hungry. Maybe you're annoyed. Maybe, maybe you're all these things that aren't being satisfied right now. Or maybe everything that you are is being satisfied right now, and that's really fucked up if that's the case. <laughs> if this is hitting the spot, that's fucked up, <laughs> isn't it? Why is this okay for me? Why is this hitting the spot for me? I don't know. Control, maybe power. Some sort of terrorist, idea terrorist. You know? I mean, I have the wherewithal and the kindness to not want to wake somebody up to go poop in their house, but yet I would do this to people. <laughs> Hypocrisy is a puddle too big not to step in. It's everywhere, waiting for us all. So what's worse? Me doing jokes about black people? Or me doing jokes about people with Down syndrome? What do you think? This joke is called People with Down Syndrome <laughs> versus People with Brown Syndrome. <laughs> Because you have to sort of make them equal, right? You can't... So I, I try to make them phonetically equal. <laughs> Even though it sounds like I'm making, you know, like, Brown Syndrome sounds like a way worse term than Down Syndrome because it's, like, new and, like, wait, you're not supposed to say that. And I'm not supposed to. That's why I want to say it. It's a weird compulsion. You know? People with Brown Syndrome like to rap. <laughs> People with Down Syndrome like to clap. <laughs> People with Brown Syndrome like drugs. People with Down Syndrome like hugs. <laughs> People with Brown Syndrome are really good at basketball. And people with Down syndrome are really good at basketball. <laughs> He's really good. No, shoot again, Billy. No, shoot again, Billy. No, shoot again. <laughs> Do you get it? <laughs> I've been doing that joke for a while, but not frequently. But I've, I've, it's an older joke that 
you know, how do you sell that? How do you sell that house <laughs> that's on stilts in the water during a hurricane? How do you sell that house? <laughs> I have no idea. I don't know if I want to do this last thing or not. I'm going to save something for tomorrow night, you know? I'm not going to do this tomorrow night, by the way. It's going to be way worse. <laughs> it's going to be way worse, so don't go. <laughs> I'll recommend you don't go. Did you guys all get donuts? Mm -hmm. Good, good. <laughs> good. Um, yeah, um, I, think that, I think that's good. I, I, I don't know why I would do any more. I don't know why I would say any more. I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. I have to go legitimate poop. <laughs> um, but I do thank you guys for coming and all the comedians and Hugo and He's not frugal. <laughs> and your jean tear in your knee, I want to tickle it. <laughs> I want you guys to switch flip flops. <laughs> I want me to swap flip flops and then go do karaoke hip hop. <laughs> um, yeah, my left foot is asleep and my right foot is totally sweet, so thanks. <laughs> Thank you.